Good morning, everyone. Today is a beautiful day here in Melbourne. Um, it got up to like, what, 19, 18 degrees today. Um, I have like minimal makeup on because I went out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still eating. But I went out this morning to do some dollar store hunting because I like to support the local businesses, you guys. Um, a lot of you in my last dollar store haul video was like, no, you can get cheaper stuff at Kmart. <laughs> but it's either the same price I noticed or like it is cheaper but honestly you guys like um i'd rather support local businesses like i said before because back in my hometown in canada all local businesses died out so there's no there's not really any more dollar stores that were able to support themselves or even like stores so <coughs> i'm choking on bread but um it was really sad when i got back from korea and stayed there for six months because like even the malls like local malls were shutting down just because there was no business since franchises and chain brands were taking over so it was really unfortunate to see that so i'm becoming i feel like i'm becoming someone who would like to really support local businesses including dollar stores because like where like kind of near where i live like i have to walk pretty far but kind of near where i live there's like five competing dollar stores and a lot of local businesses and i really want to support them instead of like making the trek to like target which would in turn cost me more since i would have to pay for the tram to get there you guys so it makes sense for me to go to dollar stores wow one minute of me explaining why it's important to support local businesses sorry my life but i went out hunting for lamps today desk lamps because um when i film my videos my, I like my background lit up. It kind of makes the videos look a little more higher quality and kind of gives a really much more like nicer feel to the footage. And I really want to try to kind of revamp my beauty channel because I've noticed in the past year or so I've gotten really lazy with it just because I've been putting more of my energy towards the vlogs. And um, I just haven't found like a good balance of where to put more of my energy. But I really want to like revamp my beauty channel and kind of put more of my personality into the editing and the videos instead of just talking in front of the camera. So I wanted to buy lamps. <laughs> well, and I did. I went to five different dollar stores to find the best lamps for the best price. And they all had the same style of lamp, only with different prices. Like they only had one lamp and it was either like... $14 here or $20 there. So I don't my arms getting sore. So I went dollar store hunting and I got some lamps and I'm really proud of them because it adds like a new vibe to my house that I'm really happy about. So yeah, let's take a look at my lamps. I got some wonderful treasure finds today. So I got this one here and I got it for $19 at one of the dollar stores and it's a little bit different at the base. It's a little more higher quality. And then I got this special, it's like, let me turn this off. I got this light bulb and it's a designer light bulb and I found it on sale at a discount store and it's really pretty. So it gives a really nice kind of feel to it. I mean, it's not the best lamp. Ideally, I would love to find a copper spray paint and spray paint the whole thing copper, like chrome copper glowiness. So I might do that someday. And then at another dollar store, I got this one. It's really similar, but it's a lot cheaper quality. And I did pay, um, like, what, $6 less for it. And then I just got a regular um, light bulb in there. Nothing fancy, just your regular old light bulb. But yeah, so that just adds, like, a whole nicer kind of light and feel to my apartment because we didn't have lamps for the longest time. So now. so now I can aim it at the wall and, like, light up my background, which I'll use this one for. And then I already shared this on my Snapchat story for today, but I found these like Nescafe espresso cups on sale because this one has a small chip in it. So the whole set was on sale. So I got two of them for like super cheap, like, I don't know, $8. So really good for these. Um, yeah. Then because tonight I think I'm going to film another episode of Little Bits with B. So I got a bottle of wine to enjoy while I film that. <laughs> And then I also picked up an apron from the dollar store that I can wear in the video, the Little Bits with B segment. Yeah, so I'm going to make something for you guys tonight. And then just for my really late lunch slash breakfast today, I had food poisoning the other day and it lasted until today, pretty much. So, um, like I was just really, really sick. So um, I haven't had an appetite and also I can't really stomach much like fancy foods or nothing that's really like crazy or high in flavor. So I picked up some beef broth and I'm just having that with toast because that's kind of really all I can stomach. Um, 
the past few days I haven't been able to eat food until like this time or later. The past two days I couldn't eat till seven o'clock. Today I'm, I'm hungry a little bit earlier. So I'm starting to feel better. And then for my lips today, you guys might want an update on this, but the bruising is still there. And then I got a pimple here from the cream that I have to put on. And then the bruising, the bruising also is still visible on the underside of my lip, but on the top part, it's not so much. And on my lips, I just have the Vise, um number one lipstick that I normally wear. It's not truly like opaque, so it's a little bit transparent. So you can kind of see a bit of the discoloration, but not much. And then just for my base makeup, I put on the Etude House Any Cushion Cream Filter just for SPF when I went out. Yeah, so I'm going to film a makeup tutorial today, a talk through one of PR. So it's an entire video using only PR. So it's like a massive first impression PR video. I'm excited, it's gonna be my first one of that. And I wanted to film another makeup tutorial, an Iggy Azalea inspired look because so many people, even when I go out to like bars or places, are like, oh my God, you look like Iggy Azalea. And I'm like, why? I don't see it. She's so much more prettier than me, but thank you. So I want to film an inspired look by that, but I'm losing the light for today because I, I took longer than I thought I would. Um, wow, I talked too much in this vlog. I'm just gonna get to work and see you guys again when I do my little bits with B episode. All right, you guys, I just finished filming a makeup tutorial using PR items. So this whole face was created with items that were PR'd to me. It's all right, like there's definitely things I didn't like and definitely things I did like a lot more and my face looks super white in this lighting but that's okay so if you guys want to see like how I achieved this look using PR items to me definitely check out my main channel in the description box down below that's where I upload all my beauty related videos because if any of you guys didn't know I did actually start off first as a beauty youtuber I've been doing YouTube for five plus years now and only in the past two years did I start vlogging so definitely check that out but anyway, you guys, I'm going to clean up and I'm going to try to start this little bits with B episode. So let's get into that. All right, my beautiful babes, welcome back to another episode of Little Bits with B. So for today's episode or like segment, because it's mixed in with a vlog, I'm going to be making a really simple dish just because this vlog is already long enough and this is just a dish that you can use on a side to the rest of your meal, which is basically what I'm going to be doing today. So I am going to be baking one of my all-time favorite potato recipes. It's pan-fried, or what? Pan-fried potato, what? It is pan-fried potatoes with like garlic and onion. It's really easy, but it's actually extremely delicious. And a lot of people I feel like maybe don't think of something like this, but it's one of my favorites and I haven't had it in a long time and I wanna have it tonight with a little bit of other food. Here I have a small variety of different potatoes that I'm going to be using today. I could not for the life of me tell you what types they are, but they look like these. So I have one red skin potato and one white skin potato and basically they are the small versions so they were harvested a little bit earlier. I don't know, dad, if you're watching, I don't know. What are these potatoes called? I don't know. So once your potatoes are washed and ready to go, you're just gonna like chop them up. So easy, this recipe, you guys, but honestly, it just is so fresh and tasty. So basically you're just gonna cut your potatoes into like bits, little bits, little bite-sized pieces. Then you're just gonna get a Tupperware container or a mixing bowl and throw them in there on the side. It's honestly like such an easy summer recipe. Love it to death. I'm sure you guys will love it too. If you haven't already had this recipe before, then I hope this is like a nice little introduction. Then taking the white skin potatoes and just dicing those up as well into bite-sized pieces. I'm making about a serving size for one or two as a side dish. For one person it would be a full like dish, I guess, if you put like a protein next to it. But otherwise I'm not making a ton today. I'm literally just using up the rest of my potatoes. And then if I see any like parts on the potato that look kind of like, eh, I don't want to eat that. And I'll just like slice them off real quickly. And there we go. All my potatoes are diced up and ready to go. Next, I'm just going to get my seasoning flavors. So I'm going to be taking one massive clove of garlic. 
and just cutting off the end with the stem and then cutting off the very tip of the garlic and peeling away the shell. This is a massive garlic, by the way. It's huge. Look at the size of this clove. It's massive. It's huge. I love garlic. I put garlic in everything, but I hate cutting it for the life of me. Oh, yes, I was using the dull end, not the sharp end. Please, like if you're gonna be crazy like me, go like brush your fingers off with a knife. Use the dull ends. Ah, oh, knife safety 101 with B. Kids at home, be careful. Don't do what I do. God. And I'm just gonna like roughly chop the garlic. I'm not gonna be too precise with it just because like it's not really necessary for this recipe. I mean, sometimes it's nice to get a big chunk of garlic to chew on, sometimes it's not. And I'm just gonna kinda like go at it and like, you know. It's the worst cooking show ever. You know, just go at it, you know, just have a time, chop it up. Sure. I know what I'm talking about, obviously. And this garlic smells amazing, so good. So good. So now that my garlic's all roughly chopped, I'm just gonna go ahead and with the dull end of the knife, Knife Safety 101 with B, you're just gonna scoop that up into your hand. Dull side of the knife, brush it off your hand into your little container there or mixing bowl, and then once again. Then, you know, you're cooking, you take a little break and you have a little sip. Then I also have a chive here or green onion, what? And I'm just gonna go ahead and chop that up as well. Don't get brave when you're using this method of chopping because it's not that easy. Always watch your fingers. Everyone's always like, oh, you know, you make a cat paw when you cut, but I cannot for the life of me grab things when I do that. Like, I can't move my hands. Useless. You know, sometimes you see people like chopping things on TV shows, being all pro about it and super fast, but you know what? You're not working in a kitchen. You're not a chef. You don't have a deadline or food prep to do. So you know what? Take your time. Rather safe than sorry, right? Like, can you imagine if you're home alone and you just like cut your finger off? Like that is literally my fear, which is why I'm so pro knife safety. Cause what if I'm alone? What if I'm doing this and I just cut my hands off? Sorry, dad, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking, but you know, like, I don't want that to happen. Scary. Then because this is kind of a summer dish, I'm just gonna take this half lemon that I already used from last night and it's just a half a lemon. Nothing crazy about it. And I'm just gonna squeeze it into the palm of my hand because the seeds always come out. Like, there we go, two seeds already came out. I'm just gonna squeeze that half a lemon juice right into my potatoes. This is gonna give it a nice little burst of freshness, kind of enhance the flavor a little bit. And we don't want those lemon seeds. I think I got them all out. So just getting the rest of the juice and squishing it in there. And then I'm just gonna lightly season it. So this is really easy like recipe. It's the simplest thing. So just taking pepper, black pepper, and freshly cracking that over your potatoes. Then a little bit of salt. Never hurt anyone. Put a ton of salt on there. And then, um, what else should I, olive oil. Then just taking a whole bunch of olive oil, drizzling it all over there. It's kind of like Mediterranean style. This is why I got this apron, so I can wipe my hands all over it. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like Mediterranean style um, potatoes, I think. Yeah, garlic, because the lemon makes it Mediterranean. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I act like I know how to cook, but you guys, I just do, I just mix the flavors I know I like and the foods I know I like together and hope to God it tastes good. But this is actually like a legit recipe, I'm pretty sure. Like I know it is, because my mom used to make it, and then like, Kyle's parents used to make it and I would eat it and be like, oh yeah, that's good. Or like I'd watch them make it and be like, oh yeah, that's good. And that's like it. Your potatoes are ready to go. So that's kind of like what they look like. I have no idea if this is in focus, but that is what they look like. So now we're just gonna fry them up in our frying pan. So let's go over and do that now. So we are at our frying pan right now and we're just bringing it up to a high medium heat at first just to get that going. And we have our potatoes ready to go and we're just waiting for that to heat up don't mind the appearance of my frying pan, that's just how it like permanently looks. 
And we have our glass of wine ready at our side. So I feel like that's pretty much at heat now. If you don't have a gas burner, it's going to take a little bit longer for your frying pan to heat up. But if you do have a gas burner, it will be fast. So now that our frying pan is nice and hot, we're just going to take our potatoes and dump them in. And then turning that heat down to a medium heat, not high medium. And then taking your container and scraping whatever juices you have left in there into the pan. And we're just going to slowly fry these until they are nice and golden brown. It smells amazing already. Oh. Acting like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. All right, to everyone, I am back. It's been like, what, I don't know, like 10 minutes. So <laughs> don't be like me, and maybe you should put the garlic in like halfway through while the potatoes are cooking, or cook them on a really low heat for a longer amount of time, or bake them, because I burnt my garlic, but this is why it's a little bit with me, you guys. I'm not a chef. I don't like, I just have these ideas, and then I always mess them up somehow. <laughs> but this is what I have put together. I have my potatoes with burnt, amazing garlic. It's okay, it tastes like a barbecue. And then I have these breakfast sausages that I also grilled up in the same pan. Like, you can add whatever else you want. And then I also have this leftover corn avocado, like, salsa, tomato salsa. I don't know. So basically, today's Little Bits with B episode focuses on the potatoes alone, except I messed them up, but that's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But yes, yeah, so today's food is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. And just a side note, put the garlic in later because it will burn because it's filled with oils and stuff. So let's try it out and see how it is. Oh, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. Yep. So good. It's actually so good. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm. The potatoes are cooked to perfection. Mm. There's a citrus tang to it because of the lemon that we have, the lemon we put in. It also has that garlicky and slightly onion flavor with a bit of burnt on the side, but it's really, really good. So, Dad, if you're watching, this is something you can make for my sister. If you're curious and don't know what to cook, this is a great side dish to add to whatever else you want, literally whatever else. I just have sausages and then this corn avocado tomato salsa that I handmade on the side. And there you have an entire meal. Really easy with your potatoes. Mm. Yeah, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Really good with white wine too, not gonna lie. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and this segment of Little Bits with B. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you've tried this potato recipe before but did it better than me. Because everyone probably didn't burn their garlic. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed to see random things about my life here in Melbourne, Australia, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!